Welcome to the cold and dry Nevada desert. A place where you could travel for mile after mile after mile without seeing a single tree until all of a sudden, bam! Water in the desert, Lake Mead. America's largest reservoir. Windfall, this thing can hold over 10 trillion gallons. That's a lot of agua. We are only seeing a tiny, tiny fraction of this gigantic reservoir, and it's all man-made. And the only thing I can think of when I see a gigantic 10 trillion gallon man-made reservoir is dam. As in the Hoover Dam. Oh man, every time I think I'm done with this place, it finds a way to suck me back in. I've been out here about once a year for the past several years, which is crazy because I am very much a trepidatious about heights. I mean, I very easily get vertigo. I'm very nervous about being up in high places. I'm not I'm not actually scared of the heights, just scared of plummeting from them. But I mean, come on, it's the Hoover Dam, once the largest dam in the world. Built during the Great Depression and using more than 3.25 million cubic yards of concrete. And that doesn't even count the power plant down there, which used another million yards or so and powers three states. Ooh, da lolly. All right, we are now on top of the dam, which is 700 hundred and twenty six feet tall. Oh, that's damn high. Supposedly the amount of concrete in this thing that we're standing on could build a road 16 feet wide and 3,000 miles long. That could go all the way across the United States. At the moment though, this concrete is only crossing two states. Nevada on this side and Arizona over there. Two states. Think about it. That means when we come over here halfway across the dam, we're on the dam border. Oh yeah, I should probably warn you guys at this point that I am very immature and since we're here on the D-A-M, I finally get to say the word damn as much as I want. So I apologize in advance to anyone who's offended, but I'm not gonna call it the Hoover obstruction. Wow, look at these giant water intakes on the Lake Mead side. Unless I'm greatly mistaken, that's where the water all gets sucked in to go down through the turbines, through the power plant. To generate all that electricity that's used in Las Vegas. I wonder if when they finish these things, someone was like, man, these totally suck. Awesome. Okay, well, well, it was my intention to come here today and go into the visitor center. Because I've never been inside. Unfortunately, I just found out that the visitor center is being remodeled. Unfortunately for me, who is terrified of being up here, that did not excuse me from coming to the Hoover Dam today. Because over the years, I keep running into this woman and her son. Really nice people who keep telling me, hey, you know, dad works at the Hoover Dam. You keep going there and not going inside. Come on, go inside. Well, I've put it off as long as as possible, but today is apparently the day that I'm going inside the Hoover Dam. Notice the squeak there? Scared. Well, at least if we do get inside, we won't be as high up. Ugh. All right, let's go meet the guy that works at the dam. Hey, we'll make a damn friend. Okay, we're supposed to be looking for Mike over here at the winged statues. Hmm, Mike, 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 Mike? No, no, not Mike. Oh yeah, we're supposed to rub the toes of the statue to bring us good fortune. Maybe that'll bring Mike. Oh look, I found Eric. So you're Mike's son, so you're coming with us. Yes. Good, okay, good. Because uh, I didn't know, I met you before at D23, I met your mom. Yep. Super nice. Yep. And now we're going to meet your dad. Yes, Mike, he's just right over there. I'm going to make a damn friend, that's what I was saying. A damn friend. I, I can't help you myself. You can say as many damn jokes as you want. Yes. <laughs> this is crazy. Eric works at the dam now too, just like his dad. So you're yeah. Mike. Yes, I you're am. You're the famous you Mike. I found you. I feel safer now. <laughs> Ooh, they are now using their secret passwords to open the secret golden elevator. Ooh. So what is this? This is actually the Arizona uh, dam elevator. Whoa, watch your mouth, Mike. No, I'm just kidding. Look at that. That's so cool. No, we do cuss cool. it at, at times because uh, sometimes we have to have our elevator maintenance folks repair it quite regularly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait a minute, look at this. Mike was just telling me during World War II when the military was hit. What happened? Someone kicked over a shotgun? Basically, one of our guards uh, actually knocked over his shotgun and it discharged and it hit that brass door. It tells you how strong these brass doors really are. It's Going down. Oh, <laughs> Where are you, Eric? So right now you're inside a cooling and inspection tunnel inside the concrete face of the Hoover Dam. So we're in the actual dam. Itself. Dude, this is crazy. Echo!
Oh my gosh. You're going to be actually looking out one of the ventilation areas out of the face of the dam. You'll be looking out from the face of the Hoover Dam downstream like the into hole. the Colorado River. Yep. Oh my gosh. So this is just like the fugitive. It wasn't me. <laughs> I don't care. What is that? What is that? I don't know if I can cross that, Mike. <laughs> What? I'll tell you what, let me turn the light back off. Uh, yeah, how far down is that? It goes down quite a ways. It uh, pretty much goes down to the bottom of the, uh, oh, the okay. sun, so it okay. goes down about another 400 feet. I feel like a ninja turtle in here. You're looking out from the face of Hoover Dam. Oh, wow. We're looking out of a secret vent in the Hoover Dam. So, I'm guessing this is a rare opportunity. Uh, it is a fairly rare opportunity. Uh, at least we don't have to look straight down. That's what I was worried about. Has anyone ever <laughs> slid down like, um, on a toboggan? No, I, if they did, uh, they wouldn't make it. Oh, okay. They'd make it to the bottom, but not beyond. Don't try that at <laughs> home. Oh, no. Don't look down. <laughs> I gotta cross this again. Yeah, be good. <laughs> that makes me weak in the knees. Yeah, it's a concrete gravity arch dam. It's unreinforced concrete. Basically, it's the weight of the dam itself holding back the pressure of the water. So it's three and a quarter million cubic yards of concrete that were placed here to block the river, and the weight of that concrete is literally holding back the dam, the water. And no rebar. No rebar. No metal. Zero steel on the Just floor. its own weight. When they were checking uh, for cracks, uh, they, they marked the cracks uh, wow. in case uh, they got bigger. And This is so crazy. I mean, it looks like something from a Bond movie. Uh, it yeah, doesn't look been a lot of movies that have been filmed out here. This just doesn't doesn't look uh, real. From the man from Winkle, Cherry 2000, the Transformers, uh, Universal Soldier, Vegas Vacation. Oh, Vegas. look at that. So these are the stairs that go all the way to the top of the dam. What about these stairs? These can take you all the way down, eventually. Yeah, I don't think my knees could take it. I don't <laughs> think they could take it, Eric. Oh, <laughs> so this is how you measure that distance yep and see whether or not there's a displacement like uh so if this spreads really far yeah. apart we're in trouble be either spreading too far apart or <laughs> one goes up or down oh yeah that wouldn't be good either <laughs> that wouldn't be good going down even further now oh. they just opened up prvs to look at through the unit PRVs. this so just now you're deep inside the dam about uh, 55 feet on the other side of this wall is Lake Mead. Really? So yes. there's water over here? Yes, there is. This is the Arizona uh, Arizona Visitors Gallery. Basically, what they're uh, the, deep inside the dam right now, uh, if you go down through this uh, gallery, you will. Uh, this is the uh, hallway where Chevy Chase was looking for his family in Vegas vacation. At the end of this hallway is that door where he opens the door and almost falls out of the dam. Okay, that is awesome. I was meaning to ask you though, I shouldn't touch this door, right? <laughs> no, probably not. Okay, I'll try the door to The okay, what's inside is not. Oh, okay, so, so, oh, oh okay. okay. I'm just making sure I didn't bump my shoulder into it. Woo! Yeah. How many feet is this uh, across the dam at the bottom? At the bottom, 660 feet. It's 45 feet across at the top, and then it goes down uh, to 660 feet across at its base. At, Are at the bottom now? No, there's still, still a, no? No, you still got a couple hundred feet below you Which to go. So far. <laughs> yeah. This dam is thick. So this is the door from Vegas Vacation. He runs right up to this door. And take a look. It's so actually... that's not a hole in the dam. Yeah, all you got is this. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> movie magic. Wow, we just myth busted things. This is crazy. Look at this. This is where the dam workers have their office. But I noticed this here in the back. Look at this. Have a great day. You guys are so positive down here. That's good. Be the union local president. Oh, so that's how you keep your damn spirits up. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Look at this. This is super rare because the dam is mirror image, right? There's one of these on the other side, but they don't let tours come in this side anymore. It's just to keep it safe, right? That's correct. So Secure. if we're on the Arizona side, we're getting like the, the private. Exactly. The VIP experience. This, this is awesome. This is where we're restricted to give our personal tours. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? Look at the size of this. We're inside the power plant, and I'm guessing those are turbines? Those are turbines down there, those Mike? Are turbines. Those, those are turbines. Oh, you said turbine. Those are our main generating units. The okay. turbines themselves are actually what turns the rotor and runs the generator. Gotcha, so there you go. That's where the electricity is being made. Now show me how 
how they make the electricity. Basically, it takes uh, water in an H intake tower into a 30 foot diameter pipe called a penstock, brings the water down into the around the dam through tunnels, and then it uh, diverges off at each generating unit into a 13 foot pipe called uh, the lateral penstock, and each one of those feeds through a butterfly valve into the scroll case, which turns the the turbine, which in turn turns the shaft, which turns the generating, the rotor, inside the generating unit and creates your electric power. So the water gets sucked in, turns a propeller, sort of, and that's the turbine right here, that's or correct. this is the turbine? The turbine is actually right here around the school turbine. Case. See, I was saying turbine, so I'm going to... That's okay. Shh, don't tell anyone I said that, Mike. I'm sorry. <laughs> the, the, the turbine's here, and then uh, basically it takes the pressure of the water flowing through, turns the turbine which uh, transmits that energy into a mechanical energy right. through the uh, shaft and the so rotor. There's magnets and, or something and in there. And the permanent becomes an electromagnet. Okay. The electromagnet turns through the stator coils, which create, transfers the mechanical energy into electrical energy. Then it go, flows out with uh, less pressure out into the tailbane. That's and, awesome. Uh, continuing uh, the Colorado River. Dude, look at this. Place. Just look at this wall here with all the old photos and then down there at the generating units right. <laughs> with the turbines inside. Look at this, you got some employees of Spectre down there. James Bond is going to come in from the ceiling any second. There's going to be a shootout. This looks like a set from a James Bond movie. It doesn't look like a real place. How this about Return from the Man from the Well, there you go. Down right here. This is the tour route that Chevy Chase went down through where he uh, almost caused the flooding of Hoover Dam. Oh, man. <laughs> A lot of Vegas vacation memories in this place. That is actually one of our runners. What the heck is that for? That goes inside of one of those things? Yes, or? that's actually what's down at the bottom. That's actually what drives the rotor. That's the actual turbine run. Man, look at the shot. That thing is bigger than my car. Yep. That's out of control. See, even this height scares me. So we're gonna go down there. We're gonna go down. Okay, we're, we're gonna, gonna go, go down. Up, uh, get some uh, hard hats first, and oh. then, then I'll take you down through. Get your noggin. All right. So Mike just handed me my hard hat, which of course I'm very grateful for, but I couldn't help but notice he gave me one of the used ones. Gee, thanks, Mike. The used hard hat. Look at us, Eric. Just a couple of guys in hard hats taking an elevator. Nothing to see here, folks. Okay, so us handsome hard hat guys are about to follow Mike into the control center. This is a very highly sensitive area. Whoop. And so, you know, since 9-11 and other high security things, we are not allowed to take the camera in there. So you guys aren't invited. We'll see you in a minute. That was so cool. But I know too much now. I must be silenced. Okay, so we have now come downstairs on to the maintenance floor. Here's the big room with the electrical generating thingies. Here's the maintenance room. This is the center of that power. That is this is straight down the middle of the dam. And this is where our mechanics and a lot of our maintenance crew do work on on our equipment that goes into the generating units. We have lathes, we have a boring mill right here, a Cincinnati boring mill. Wait, boring mill? I don't want to see things that are boring. It, it takes a long time to get you bored. Okay, yeah, that's true. Okay, but this, this is what we're really interested in. This is the Arizona powerhouse, you that's said? That's correct. You were just up there. So we were standing way the heck up there. Oh my god. Man, we didn't need hard hats, we needed parachutes. So this is where Chevy Chase was? Yes, as a matter of fact, they were doing their tour right here where they were told they could take, just like you, all the damn pictures they want. Well, see, I can tell you're a Chevy Chase fan, see? Yes, I, I like that you guys like the movie, you're not annoyed by it. Like, oh, come on, stop talking about it. Look at this, it's so big in here. There's a guy driving a cart. Look at the size of this. The generator itself is inside here. About, okay. About uh, two and a half, three feet on the other side of this is the actual generator. How tall is this? Um, it's about 12 feet. And then it goes down. Right? It oh, goes yeah. way down in there. The water's down there with the turbine. That's correct. Very good. Doing things. So this room is keeping the lights on at Binion's. Yes, I like it, it. I like it. Okay. Now check. This, what is this? Is this the bat cave? This is the contractors at it. Uh, uh, basically, when they were building the dam, this is the way the workers would go into it. They would uh, drill the hole down through here to access 
the the what used to be the diversion tunnel and it's now a penstock tunnel. Oh my gosh. So we left the dam and now we're in the side of the mountain next to the dam. That's correct. It right? Smells like my yeah, smell I was just gonna say that smells <laughs> like your grandma's basement. That's Don't ask it. me how I know that though. And these are all dynamite holes. This is where they used to this, this is where they would drill really, really put the dynamite in and that's amazing. So, so somebody was drilling extra dynamite holes to get that overtime. You see? Was that? What you're hearing right now, that's them either starting or shutting down a unit. Okay, I just it's, hear. Man, we're in a tunnel underneath the water. Unit. They're starting the unit. You hear the rumble? That's the water starting to go through the unit, and it's starting the generator. The so water isn't going to come shooting down. No. It's not going to be like Temple of Doom in here. No. Okay. As long. As, okay. Okay. I mean, this really does look like. I hate to say this again, but it looks like an evil villain's lair. You have the rough, you know, mountain tunnel, and then the smooth path here, like. Yo, that's crazy. Okay, look at this. You see this water leaking into the tunnel? I've just been reassured. This isn't the dam leaking, right? This is a natural hot spring. That is correct. It's natural springs. It's an extinct volcano here in the canyon. So we could open a resort. We could build a thing. It could <laughs> fill up. Natural mineral waters. We could make a mint, Mike. That's it. They have natural hot springs downriver of us. It's in this tunnel where they built the little wall. A fake part of the wall, right? Yep. For Chevy Chase to have the water shooting out of him. How far is the water actually? This uh, one. Uh, the water. It's not in on the other side of this, right? So it couldn't get it's us in. Way here. back the other way. Okay, good. We're safe. Okay, this is uh, our reinforced steel flood door. So that's what's at the end of this whole tunnel here leads to a flood door. Yep. If, so if something happens for our 30 foot diameter penstock, Basically, this door will seal the water and channel it down and out another tunnel into the river. Okay. Keeping the power plant dry. Okay. Oh, they're letting me hit the open button here. Whoa. Whoa. What the heck? What did I say about evil villain's lair? <laughs> you get to push that button every day? That's so cool. Oh, okay. So tourists used to come down here. Yes. Oh, that's why the nice windows and the information up here. Okay. Four diameter penstocks. The steel itself is three inches thick. So what does that mean, penstock? The penstock is a giant pipe. That's okay. all it is. It's a pipe that takes water from the intake uh, down and uh, puts it to the generating units. You can oh, actually okay. see where it's taking water here to generating unit A2. Okay, it was hard to see through the window, so they're letting me yep. stand on this very scary grate so I can show you guys. So that's the big pipe it's coming- 30 foot diameter. 30 foot diameter, coming from the sucky things, the towers there, and then it splits off into smaller pipes into the generating units. Is that the correct terminology? Correct. Look, I'm learning, I'm learning. This is, I mean, this is out of control. Look, this is so scary. So this. What'd you just say? This is one of the original diversion tunnels where the Colorado River was diverted around the dam site for them to uh, construct the dam. Through the mountain. That's crazy. Uh, so we were just, we're standing on top of the pipe in here. That's correct. Oh, that's crazy. So here's the dam. This is inside the mountain wall. Yep. And we're down, down in here, inside right, right the mountain. Before, right before unit A2, lateral. Wow, so from above, the water goes into the intake towers and through the pipe in the mountain. Yep. And that's where we're at. We're right here. Oh, that's incredible. That, that is so cool. Man, there's a lot of extra space in here. I could build an apartment in here, Eric. <laughs> we could come hang out. We could play Xbox. That is so crazy. Whoa, back through the tunnel, back to the dam. Look at that. We broke the dam, guys. <laughs> we broke the dam. Well, you guys work here. I'm going home. See you later. For some reason now, the water protection door won't close. Oh, whew, we fixed it. Oh, man. I was worried there for a second. See, if it stayed broke, I was going to blame you. But now that we fixed it, I want the credit. There you go. You got it. Okay. Ooh, how about this? See, here's the proof that we're getting a special tour here. Okay, okay. Going back. In the powerhouse. So this is that thing we were looking at from up top. Runner. A turbine runner. So this is what the water hits That's to correct. turn it? This is what, as the water enters the generating unit, turns the rotor. Okay, okay. Look at the size of that thing. Dang. That's a lot of water. But to give you guys an idea of context, this is sitting on a rail car. There are railroad tracks here. How heavy is that thing, Mike? I'm not sure how heavy this particular one. It's stainless steel, but it's about... Uh, 
hit several times. Oh my goodness. Look at that, there are full-size vehicles driving around in here. That's huge. Wait, Eric, so that's the dam up there. Right there. That yeah. is the bottom of the Hoover Dam right here, this wall. See, they want you to think this place is powered by water, but apparently it's actually powered by Phillips 66. Okay, we're following Mike here. Apparently, we're heading up on top of the generating unit. No one told me there was gonna be stairs. Wait a minute. Take different things. Here's a huge control panel here. They used to have all the switches and levers, and now you're telling me it's all run? I had a little touch screen right there. Yeah, either our control center or we could do it manually here, of course. So it's like an iPad. Of course, it's very controlled, so oh, okay. not everybody can manage it. You can get right. anything you want on it. Alarms. Does it have Siri, though? It does not have Siri. So you have yet. to use your hands? Yeah. It's like a baby. So what is that? Oh, no. Oh, okay, good. I thought the water was coming, Eric. I noticed you jumped to the side really quick. <laughs> Save yourself! I was gonna make the Back to the Future joke. You know, say, it's like a baby's toy, and then the alarm terrified me. But now I think that there is a little damn still <laughs> in my pants. This is crazy. We're just walking through a hydroelectric power plant here. This is why. Look at that. So that's the top of the rotor. That is generating the electricity. So at yep. the bottom of that's this... The, that's called the collector ring right there. Basically, okay. that's where we're putting a, a DC uh, current through that ring down to our rotor, creating the electromagnet. So as it cuts through the generator core, it actually creates AC electricity. So there, at, But at the very bottom, the water is what's turning that. Correct. Wow. I can feel the ground moving. How much electricity is generated by something like this. This particular unit here will generate uh, about 86 megawatts. That's 86 million watts of power wow. uh, right now at, at its max capacity with our current lake level. When it's actually full lake level, this thing could do uh, closer to about 129 megawatts. That's half as much as I've got in my arm. That's pretty good. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh. This is a scary place to work. Oh, my God. Uh, Mike's trying to explain to me why they removed the floor. I'm just trying not to vomit and fall over the side. Look at this here. All the way down on the end is a small generator. And Mike was just explaining to me that Phoenix didn't have the money to purchase one of these big boys. So they got themselves a little guy and the medium one back there. That's good old Los Angeles DWP yep. taking over the leftovers of the tiny little Arizona one and squeezing themselves in. California just had to get a little, get a little peace. We couldn't leave it alone. Exactly. So it's not divided up like that anymore though, right? Like California no longer owns this. That's correct. It's all one thing. That's correct. Back in 1988, the Bureau of Reclamation took over control of this uh, facility from uh, contractors, Southern Cal Edison, LADWP. So now and it's all federal. It's all federal. Ooh. So this used to be California's right here. Look at that. I'm really scared I'm gonna get shocked. I gotta be careful. I'm terrified of two things, heights and electricity. Also boiling liquid, but I don't think you guys have any of that here, so. Crazy. Just look at it. Look at the size of this room. Hey, I mean, look how tiny those guys look over there. Eric just told me that the base of the dam, front to back at the bottom, since it's big, is about the same length as this ginormous room I can't even see the end of. So that is about how thick Hoover Dam is at the bottom. I don't know what they're doing by this huge door. Well, I think we're about, are we going out this huge door here? <laughs> Look, shine of this door. Wow, what do you got in there, King Kong? Oh my gosh, what? in the world. Mike says that bridge is a thousand feet, a thousand feet above the river. That is insane. If you look directly in the center of your screen now, that's where we were standing when this video began. And now look at this. We've come all the way out to the bottom. This is incredible. This is amazing. Wow, and look at this. There it is. Colorado the, River. The mighty Colorado River. Wow, this river's making me thirsty. Oh, look, and they have an escape boat, just in case things go wrong. Wow, that is an incredible view. But I'm guessing the more incredible view is yet to come. Oh, look at 
this. Holy gamoly. Which I don't even think is a real word. Yeah. Look at the size of that damn. Damn, damn, damn. Won't you look at the size of that damn. This is that power plant building we were just inside of. I mean, probably one of the biggest buildings I've ever been in, and it's completely and utterly dwarfed by the dam back there. That hole with the slats we got to look out was way way up there. I mean, I don't even know if you guys can see it. It's just a little speck up there. This is incredible. And just think, all handmade by Herbert Hoover himself. These are the actual power lines going out to Vegas, powering all the Vegas stuff. Or part of Vegas. So is this like what we wouldn't want to touch? Correct. Here, we wouldn't want to put our hand on one and then put our hand on the other. Even put your hand on one would do damage. Okay. We won't be, we'll, we'll keep our hands to ourselves. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is a hard hat area. I was only allowed to take the hard hat off to get a couple of shots. If you come down here, wear your hat. Especially because apparently tourists like to throw quarters and stuff from up there and it could get you in the noggin. This is amazing. Look, can you see up there? Can you see those tiny little black specks? Those are people. This thing is gargantuan. Normally I get dizzy down looking up at huge heights too, but after being up there, this feels really good. I can, I can live with this. This is okay with me. So what's next, Mike? We're going up there. Uh-oh. Oh, and we're going to go in through this, huh? Oh, what a, a what a fun, what do you say it was called? A horseshoe tunnel. A horseshoe tunnel. Oh, there's lights. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say. I thought Mike was taking me somewhere to murder me. Whew. This is amazing, and look at, I was noticing, these are railroad tracks down here, which means you can take some big stuff through these tunnels. Oh, what? They filmed Transformers down here? That's what you said? This is, where, uh, this is where Bumblebee came rolling through right here. Oh, wait, what's that? Now I'm being offered the elevator or the what? Now this one? Take this way? The stairs? How far is it? Uh, it's about 220. Uh, okay, we'll take the elevator. <laughs> when I first saw this. This elevator's padded to drown out the screams. Look at it. Went the easy way. Oh, here we go. This is the Arizona Valve House. See, it looks especially... Okay, see, now it looks more legit that we're in here when the <laughs> lights are on. When we're just shining flashlights, I'm thinking, are you sure this is okay? You check with, you know, Homeland Security and all that. I'm good, right? Yeah, good. Hey, see, that's good to know for me. Like, okay, I'm okay. So these are valves, huh? Behind you, right up above your head? These are valves. These used to be some of the... These are actually capped off ends of the pen stock now where we oh, used okay. to have needle valves. That, so that giant pipe that we were on earlier, this is the end of those? Yes. Wow. Uh, over here on this side, these are the jet flow valves that replaced all of our needle valves. So, wa so water from Lake Mead uh -huh. all the way through those tunnels and you can shoot it out yep. here through these. Whoa. What you talking about? And that's how we do it. Right it's like the door to Scrooge McDuck's money bin. So if this leaks, what kind of plumber do you have to call for that? Our ma maintenance mechanics. It's a heck of a plumbing okay. job. Okay, so Roto Rooter is not going to pick up the <laughs> Not at all. Okay, so this. You regulate the water utilizing these that you can't regulate using the spillway. Gotcha, so this will relieve pressure on the dam if the water's too high. Correct. You just shoot it out of here. And we're upstairs, so I mean, that's, that's that must look awesome. And tourists never, ever get to see this. Not at all. Because, I mean, this doesn't look, you know, <laughs> like it's your typical tour type of thing. This is amazing. Hello! Spooky. It's like a, it's haunted in here, right? Um, actually, one of them is. Ooh. On our other side, they say it is oh, haunted. So you took me to the non-haunted side? I appreciate you taking me to the non-haunted <laughs> side, actually. Thinking yes. about it now, I don't need a hitchhiking ghost. I got enough mouths to feed at home. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so here's why the hard hat. Because of, of that. Rip, rip. Sorry. Sorry about your dam. Okay, now up the stairs. Oh, man. Okay, see, I, I don't like these stairs at all. This is a lot higher than I thought. I am leaning. Far against the wall. So look at that. Look how high. Okay, see, so that's why they don't let the tourists in here. You don't want them plummeting. Ooh. Hey, Chavez left his box up here again. Chavez! Okay. Controls and the power for the, the jet flow valve. Wow. Then we have what we call paradox gates here. Paradox gates? Marty! We can have a major paradox! 1.21 gigawatts! Do you guys generate 1.21 gigawatts here? No. Ah, so we couldn't take a time machine. No, no. Back from the here. here. You still need a bolt of lightning. Hey, 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 Eric, watch out, watch out. Ooh. Careful. Go it's carefuler. Slowly. Slow. Okay, you're okay. You're okay. Watch out, Mike. Watch out. 
Ah. You're really going to have to watch a step over here because we do have a lot more piping on the floor. This is actually our water treatment plant, Ooh. where they actually treat the water to make it potable for people to drink up on top of the dam and the visitor center. And really? Drinking fountains and uh, flushing toilets, everything. This is where we uh, make our potable water. That's amazing. That's amazing that they even thought of that. Like, we're going to need something for people to drink. This what is actually, that? It just says, it says, do not enter on it. Yes, if you remove that, that hole, that, you're going to have a big hole down there. You see those uh, gate stems and the valves over there, the paradox gates? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what this used to be. Oh, okay. So there's water down there. Yep. We don't want to crawl in there. You guys, uh, I can't believe you you trust me to step step around this <laughs> stuff here. This is the Hoover Dam. I mean, how many people rely on this dam? If, if something were to go wrong with the dam, how many people's lives would be affected? Uh, millions. Oh, uh, man. 10 to 12 million. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> okay, so that's the, uh, what do we call this house again? This is the uh, valve house. The valve house. Look at that. Beautiful view out that window. Okay. Let's see. I thought we were done, but I guess we're still not done. No. Nope. That's crazy. Another elevator right here. And another secret doorway. Look at that. I've never been out here at night. Yep. Look at that. Wow. wow. This oh, yeah. is incredible. This is unbelievable, Mike. Mike was just trying to explain to me about interrupters, but then I interrupted him. So, <laughs> sorry about that. Look at that, and there's the visitor center up there. I can still see tiny little black specks. Human beings, this is so wild. I mean, look how tiny a truck looks down there. Those are F-150s or whatever parked down there. Minuscule. Wow, I thought that was gonna be the finale. But now they're starting to look into this gigantic, creepy tunnel, so I have no idea what's coming next. I give up here, just like the water. I'm just going with the flow. I had no idea what to expect today, so you guys have blown my mind over and over and over. Ooh. This is where you keep the dinosaurs, right? Oh, wow. wow. This is actually where we used to have our oil tank for Transformers units. This is amazing. Oh, yeah, look at that old, look at the old font on there. Oh, the governor's oil. Arnold Schwarzenegger keeps his oil there. Yeah, the governor. Worst Arnold impersonation ever <laughs> in the history of the dam. Uh, Wait, what? What? On water, we're actually going to be opening up this hatch so people can go in this pen stop. Oh, really? Yeah. Not like tourists. You're talking about people doing uh, doing work. Oh, that's so they're going to go in. Whoa, wait, that's, so that's the pen sock. That's, that's the giant pipe. That's a giant pipe. It so, only feeds half of the generating unit. Is this the one we were standing on top of earlier? That's correct. This, no only way. this is the upper one. Look at the size of it. Hold my, hold my camera for a second. Look okay. at the size of that pipe. Oh, moly. 30 feet tall. 30 feet. 30 feet is one, two, three, four, five, six alleys tall. Ow. That's crazy. <laughs> that's a nice pipe there. <laughs> Ladies love a guy with a huge pipe. What does this pipe weigh, which we are now standing that underneath? I, 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 would have to, I would have to calculate up uh, the size and the weight of the steel. This pipe probably weighs more than everybody's mother-in-law. Or maybe not, maybe not. Wow. I mean, this is, this is crazy. Now, are there damn nerds out there? Like, uh, you know how like trains, they'll have rail fans and foamers. Are there like nerds that come out here? Like hydro, you know, thermodynamic nerds who come out like, oh, sweet. Yeah. We have uh, civil engineers, we have uh, electrical engineers, hydraulic engineers. So I'm making and, people very jealous yeah. right now. And mechanical engineers, they all love this stuff. The world's biggest pipe, and I touched it. I don't know if that's accurate. Don't check that. Don't check, <laughs> nobody look it up. Nobody look yeah, it up. See, look at this pipe down underneath. The, that pipe, I mean, that pipe here, if I saw this, you know, running across the field, I think, look at the size of that pipe. But now that pipe is nothing to me. I take electricity for granted. I take running water for granted. And I never think about all the people who had to take it for granted. Yep. Uh, yes. You know, and tunnel this stuff out. That is absolutely out of control. All right. We are saying goodbye to the creepy tunnel and to my creepy large shadow and headed back out to the world of the living yeah you can still see stakes in there and like pieces of cable from guys who have to climb up there to build this place and upkeep this place dynamite holes this is absolutely insane just completely nuts i mean that is cool i know <laughs> normally i'm a chatty kathy but 
I had a moment there. Like, well, thank you for making my hotel lights work at You're night. Because I keep them on all night because I'm scared of the dark. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure that wraps it up. This is amazing. And all thanks to this father and son damn working team. All right. I really appreciate you guys Absolutely. letting me come down here, especially Mike. You're welcome. The controller of the dam, who I wouldn't have met without you over here, Eric, Hello. and your mom. Say thanks to your mom for me. But before we say goodbye and wrap things up entirely, I'm told there's one more super cool area to go. And I never say no to a damn tour guide. Oh, check this out. This is the first aid kit for the sumo wrestlers here. Oh, man. It's so mighty out here. This is the kind of place you'd, you'd watch on the History Channel. Like, I don't know if I want to watch a show about the Hoover Dam, but I'm telling you, when you're actually here, just, it's the size and the scale of it. I don't know how well it's actually going to translate. I'm standing here and I don't know how to wrap my mind around how huge this stuff is. Okay, we're sealed back inside for safety once again. Ooh. What in the world? Whoop. foot ones? Yep. And this I mean, one feet It's like a semi truck, right? Yeah. Like you'd have to put this on the back of a huge truck, wide load, just to bring this here. Many of them. Wow. This goes all the way up to the valve of the house in I mean, how this many stuff. feet is that? Hundreds of feet up, right? I mean, a couple hundred. Wow. I would not want to be the guy that's in charge of finding out where the hole is. Oh. <laughs> Let there be light. See, for a second you turn the lights off there. That was scary. Lights on, please. Lights on. That's why you always have these. Oh, see, the one thing I never carry. See, it's me. Oh, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Wait for me. It's like Tom Sawyer's cave, only more vibrating and loud and scary. You guys, today, it's just, we've been having a lot of damn fun, guys. Oh my goodness, I'm getting to work. Working out my glutes. Oh, we're not done. Going down some more. The adventure is never gonna stop. Oh wow, so now we're going down underneath the generating units. I see. Wow. Everybody gets a little louder over here. Oh, it's gonna get even louder? Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll see what happens. Whoa! Holy moly! Look at that! The turbine's in there? Yep, the turbine's below this. Okay, and then, wow, that's amazing. Holy cow. And so all the slot machines are powered by this. A lot of them. That's amazing. Hang on a second, I gotta get a fun pick. Dude, that thing right there, that was nerve wracking to stand next to. Holy moly. Holy cow. Where am I even standing right now? So I'm guessing that. Uh, you can't just buy one of those. Not only practical, but very historic. I mean, the Hoover Dam changed the world, right? I mean, 
in terms of scale, it really has yeah. generating power, and, and it was kind of, uh, I guess, ahead of its time at the time. Wild. I mean, this was truly one of the wonders of the world when it opened, and you could very easily see why. The only thing this reminds me of, just in terms of being monumental, is like, like a castle, like something huge and enormous, but I mean, it's a hundred thousand times bigger than the biggest castle. This is the kind of thing, walking around here, it's hard to believe that humans built all that stuff. Uh, ooh, ooh, another Art Deco elevator. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Holy moly. Oh, well, at least I won't be needing this anymore. Put it back in the used bin. So now we just head back through these creepy echo e tunnels. Back up the dam, right? That's correct. Back to the surface. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Eric. Absolutely. Thank welcome. you, Mike. You've got your duty. Okay. Well, we've done it. It's over. Damn. Well, that's it. My damn friends have left me. And now I'm all alone. That was an experience I will never forget. I'd like to stand out here and reflect on it, think about it for a while. But I just remembered, I'm terrified of these heights. So I think for now, I've done my duty. It's time to go home and sleep well. By the way, no joke, everybody really is gone. So now I'm just up here with no one. The road is closed. I mean, they know I'm gonna be leaving, so they're gonna let me out, but... Scary. Can't believe we got to do all that. Damn. This reminds me of my friend Tyler. Sweet. Oh, by the way, down here at the bottom of the dam, they have their own sewage treatment plant. We're not gonna go in there, though. No smelly smell. 